Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that a management institute is introducing a new course. The director identified the activities to be taken up before the batches for the latest course can be started. He also worked out on the time required for each activity. So we are given the time required. And there are certain activities that cannot be taken up unless certain other activities have been completed fully or partially. And there is also an estimation of the cost incurred per week for each activity, right? So these details are given in the table over here. Now, if you look at this table, right, this is the time taken to complete in weeks. This is the cost per week, okay? Now, apart from that, it also gives certain activities like activities to be completed before this activity. So for activity two, you need to complete activity one. If this is complete, then only this can start. Similarly, in order to complete three, you need to complete two. In order to complete five, you need to complete four. Okay. And others are independent activities. Now, some further information is given that the first batch of the new course can be started only after activities 5, 6 and 7 are complete and at least one third of activity 3 is completed. So, we need to complete 5, 6, 7 and one third of activity 3. So, basically, we need to have one week of printing material ready to start the course. The director estimated a student enrollment of 500 for the first year of the new course. Denote the week in which the coursework starts as week 1. So, uh, like let's say the preparation material etc that starts, the first the first day when the this process starts is counted as week 1. Okay. The college had 8 faculties whose average annual salaries were rupees 9 lakhs. So, 72 lakhs is the expenditure here. Okay, the rest of the expenses of the college accounted for 29% of the total cost during the year. So, there are 8 faculties, their expenditure is this. This is uh, another expenditure that we will have to calculate. And then there is remaining is 29%. Okay, so that is the total expenditure over here. Right. Okay, so the first question is, what is the earliest that batches for the new course can be started? So, we need to finish these three activities, right, 2, 1, 4, that gives us 7 week. Uh, you might be tempted to answer week 8, okay, so that is not correct. If you include course material printing, 1 week for that, so you have total 8 weeks, but still you cannot start on the ninth week because this activity, course material printing is dependent on this activity and this activity is dependent on this activity right so we have to prepare this course material so 12 weeks for course material then we need uh, 3 weeks for material typing okay then only we can start this so we will need one more week right so we will need a total of 16 weeks to complete this part because this is mandatory this is mandatory this is mandatory one third is mandatory so, total we will need 16 weeks, okay. And since uh, these are independent one, right. So, we can start simultaneously these things. So, these things can be done within 16 weeks. So, it can start in the 17th week, okay. So, you will need 16 weeks to complete this. Then only you can start on 17th week. What is the minimum expenditure incurred before the first batch is started? Excluding marketing and promotion, okay. So, we have to exclude this. And we need to find the other expenses. Now, other expenses is basically, see, all other activities have to be done, right? So, these four have to be done because you cannot have faculty orientation before faculty selection. So, all these are done and this is one third done, right? So, for this, the expense is going to be uh, 25,000 per week. So, we'll keep it as 25,000 only. This is for 12 weeks. This is for three weeks. And uh, then we have all other expenses. This is for two weeks and this one is for one week, right? So, we have to exclude this. So, this gives us 360. Okay, this is 6 and this is 25,000, 10,000, 25,000 and 5,000. So, we have 50, 60, 420, 420 plus 11, 431,000. So, the answer is 4,31,000. In case the enrollments are full, what should be the fees per student 
to break even break even means to uh, have uh, zero loss right so equal the earning equal to break even means revenue equal to cost now if you look at the total expense this was 431 and we included only uh, one week of material printing if we have two week of material printing we will add another 50000 and 50000 into 4 is 200 so that will bring us 250 that makes 681000 681000 now there are eight faculties whose average salary is 9 lakh so they will be paid 72 lakhs so 72 lakhs means 7200000 okay so this is 7881 this is the expenditure and out of this then we have 29 rest of the expenses are 29% of the total cost so this is 71% this 29% is other cost so total expenditure will be 7881 divided by 71 71 into 1 is 71 7 remains 78 7 remains so 111 111 Uh, and this is one percent, right? So one 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 lakhs. So the total expenditure is hundred and eleven lakhs, right? And they are assuming that the enrollments are full, so we have to divide by five hundred. Hundred and eleven lakhs divided by five hundred. So hundred and eleven lakhs divided by five hundred. Hundred and eleven, like see, lakh divided by thousand is. Uh, 100 okay so this is uh, 111 100 and since it is 500 we have to multiply by 2 so this will be 22200 so in order to break even they need to keep the fees as this much uh, assuming that all enrollments are full so this is the minimum fees to break even suppose the course material is prepared in three equal parts with the typing and printing of each part done independent of the material preparation of other parts okay so material preparation okay and uh, then we have uh, like these three are done in three parts so it says material is prepared in three equal parts so preparation in three parts and typing and printing so these are also done separately so basically the breakdown is 411 411 And four one one, right? So for three weeks, uh, for three uh, we can divide into three parts. Now we need to tell the earliest that the batches for the new course can be started. Printing is also independent of the typing. So these are all independent activities. So uh, now it has been broken into three parts instead of previously one part. Okay. Now see, you have to start the batch. You can start the batch once part one is ready. Okay, so because by the time Uh, you would probably uh, complete that part, uh, teaching that part. Definitely, in that scenario, you will be able to. <coughs> you will be able to <coughs> once you start the classes. <coughs> once you started uh, start the classes, and uh, then you can continue printing these things, right? Now, if you saw previously in the previous question, we saw that. we needed 16 weeks for all this activity right now in this case you need just 6 weeks because four four weeks for this then one week will take for typing and then one week for printing because this uh, activity is dependent on this so four weeks plus 5 plus 6 right in the same time you can do faculty selection suppose you do faculty selection in the first week itself and parallel you can do marketing and promotion so all these activities can be done within 6 weeks okay and this these are mandatory activities that will take 6 weeks if you do this and this that also can be done in 3 weeks so all things can be done within 6 weeks so you can start the batch from week 7 so basically uh, decrease of 10 weeks from the previous scenario if only 45% of the expected students enrolled in the course and the fee per student was 55000 what is the institute's net profit in the year okay so 55% in students enrolled means 225 students enrolled and the fees is 55000 okay so we will have to do a bit of calculation here uh, so uh, 55 into 225 55 five is 275 27 carries 110 137 13 carries 110 100 
2023. So this is the revenue in thousands. Okay, and the total uh, cost was 111 lakhs. Right, 111 lakh means 111 double zero thousand. So this is the revenue. This is the cost. So profit will be 1275. Uh, 1275,000. So, we have to answer in rupees thousands. So, the answer is 1275,000. So, this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.